What is up, guys and gals? Welcome, welcome one, welcome all. Uh, sorry, I was running a couple minutes late. Uh, yes, yes, just uh, three minutes exactly. So, um, it is September 6, 2018. How are y'all doing? Uh, this is the Brennan Coin Daily Mining Hash Rates GPU Crypto Talk Video thing. You know what you know what it's about. Um, so don't be scared if this video says it's 60 minute long live stream if you're watching it after the fact. The first 10 minutes are uh, the what would typically be the pre-recorded daily hash rates or daily news video uh, for GPU mining, etc. So uh, I will warn you when it transitions over to interacting with the live stream. So if you're not into that, you can leave at that time. But uh, we're going to start off with a $6,526 Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's up a little bit over yesterday. Uh, Litecoin's at $57. It was at 56 so it's up a little bit. Uh, Monero, still strong, uh, almost in, back in the $120 range. Monero didn't take as big of a hit as everything else did because it had a big jump up uh, before. So, and Ethereum Classic at $12. So everything everything's pretty steady, steady. Um, but yeah, so let's jump over to the hash rates. This is... This is uh, the meat and potatoes right here. So if you've never seen this chart, uh, this is a breakdown of each individual different graphics card that I own. I do own multiples of them, but multiple of data points is not going to help you. So this is averaged out. So uh, even though I have 11 1052 gigs, this is only a data for one that's averaged. Does that make sense? All right, so how you read this is GTX 1052 gig. It is down 4.17% from yesterday to today. It was making 24 cents a day. Now it's making 23 cents a day. The algorithm or coin that it's on is Ether 1. It's getting 13 mega hash or 3,709 satoshis. Power cost estimated at 17 cents for 9 cents per kilowatt hour. Profit versus power, it is profiting 6 cents per card. So with that knowledge, uh, look at that. It looks like everything is up between 8 to 11 percent. That's mining Ethereum Classic. Uh, the cards that I have mining Ether One are down uh, two to four percent. So, you know, I, I consider it pretty much a green day. Um, yes, Monero would be a good mine right now. Uh, but for now, I'm stacking up my ETC. I want. I have a goal. I want to hit a certain amount of Ethereum Classic before I switch the lion's share of my farm over to something else. Um, and my uh, like speculative mine is Ether One. I'm currently working on a video of uh, setting up, well, uh, joining in. It's not really. I don't set it up, but joining in the process, what to expect, what not to expect on doing an Ether One shared master node. Um, so that video should be coming out here soon, and um, you know, estimated ROI because everybody's so worried about the ROIs. Um, and uh, I figured it'd be a, a good idea to try a shared master node before I do my own master node. Uh, and Ether One seems to be um, a good, a good entry level coin to go into that with. But um, yeah, so if you want to take a little bit more in depth look at this and kind of extrapolate some data, be like, oh, what is it if I built a, you know, a ten card. 1080 8 gig rig and uh, put them on ETC today. You know, a 10 card rig would make six dollars and thirty cents, but after power, you'd be looking at like two dollars and forty cents. So, boom, there you go. Knowledge, brain bomb, power. Let's jump over to the Amazon deals of the day. Um, if you'll notice, probably under the deal of the day right now, it's got the H110 D3A motherboard, but I will be updating it so after the live stream gets posted. Um, and processes into like an actual video. This will be the new deal of the day. It's not necessarily on sale, but at one time these motherboards were very expensive. Uh, whenever we go back into a um, into a bull market, I can guarantee you that you will not be able to buy uh, a 13 GPU mining motherboard for $99. So uh, even at MSRP, it's a good buy. Um, these are solid. There's a bunch of people running these in in the uh, Discord. I believe actually, um, I think Ryo is actually running one. So, yeah, but uh, solid, solid motherboards. 13 graphics cards. Uh, I don't believe you can actually run all 13 of the same. I don't know exactly how it works, but I'd be, I'd be curious to try one of these out in the future. And if you need to put a slap a uh, processor in there, here's a Celeron G3900 for $37. Uh, these things run 
uh, like simple miner. You can even run Windows 10 with them. They're not fast by any means, but it'll be perfect for a miner, um, a, a mining rig. Um, I think they're just a little dual core, nothing special. But yeah, Celeron G3900, $37. You can't beat $37. That's cheap, cheap, cheap. So um, let's go over and check out a rig of the day. By the way, the Brandon Coin website is going to be getting a makeover. Um, this is, uh, I think this website's kind of staled out now. It's, uh, it's definitely, it's, it hasn't really been updated since I kind of did anything. But it's going to be getting a makeover, um, and we have the possibility of adding some uh, some reseller. Or I, I have a possibility of being a third-party reseller now, um, and potentially just uh, taking a little bit of profit and uh, offloading some good savings onto you guys. Uh, and it looks like the I don't know exactly how it's going to work out because uh, the minimum order quantities are a little high. I may do it in. Uh, in batches or releases, you know, say a batch of 20 people, and once it hits 20 people, um, you know, then it's bought and shipped. But uh, I don't know; it's just something we can look into. Uh, for now, though, let's jump over and look at a rig of the day. If you want to get your rig featured, all you gotta do is go to reddit.com/r/brandingcoin or click the link down below in the description. Post up a, a little picture, a video, anything like that, and uh, we'll check <coughs> check it out. So this is from Chimp Biscuits one day ago, rig of the day, first time miner. Hey, here's my rig. After watching you and Voscoin, I decided to take the jump and get started. Well, let me just go ahead and I apologize ahead of time um, if I got you into mining and it's literally probably the lowest, most unprofitable time in the last year. But welcome. I, I know even though it's not super profitable, I still enjoy it and I actually love it. And um, uh, the whole this title of this video is actually about pre-ordering the 2080, and we'll get to that after we get through the regularly scheduled content. But I am legitimately like, like, you know, schoolboy excited about the new graphics card coming. And I don't know, maybe maybe that's what's propelling me to be positive through like the you know the bear market or whatever. Don't feed the bears. Uh, I don't feed anybody except people in my Discord. They can get fed. Uh, but you have four Zotac 1070 Ti's, a 1200 watt power supply, uh, rocking an ASRock H1 Pro BTC. Hey, he's running that motherboard. Okay, that's cool. Uh, he's running a G3930, so very, very similar to the processor I featured, just a little bit newer or higher clock speed. 120 gig SSD and 8 gigs of DDR4. Uh, he's got the Mining Cave 8 card rig frame. Only downside was shipping on the frame was almost as much as the frame to Australia but had the money to spend after good profits in January. Heard that, man. Getting 195 to 200 sols on Bitcoin Gold. Going to change to something else at month's end and try to build a portfolio of different coins. That's solid. Uh, spread the uh, spread the proverbial eggs in the different baskets. You know, don't put all your eggs in one basket kind of thing. Uh, he's using 630 watts, but at 20 cents US, the profit is low, but in for the long haul. Cheers. I hear you on that one, man. Gotta be in for the long haul right now. Uh, the uh, the short term miners are, are definitely uh, the ones that are got the weak hands. Holy smokes! What are these things and why are they so fat? What cards are these? Zotac 1070 Ti's. These things look huge. Are these the amps? I guess. Look how thick these cards look. These look like three wide. They look good though. I like how you'd have all different colors. Um, thank you for sharing that. Uh, the mining frame looks good, by the way. I like the little sailboat in the background. Got some some monitors, keyboard. Solid man, solid. And I like that LAN cable or the Ethernet cable. Running uh, running them off of uh, wireless, you definitely get a little bit of loss. But um, looks like you're ready to go to slap some more cards in there. So awesome. Thank you for sharing. And let's go ahead and let you know that it got. Featured on uh, 9 6 2018. Bam. Alright, and now let me turn the volume over to right here and let's uh, let's catch up on the live chat while we're gonna talk about the RTX 2080. Um let's see here, D Tech TH, I dig block Pete's, J Bohannon, what is up? Welcome to the chat. 
Mr. C, nice to see you. Robert Burns, not your normal miner. Um, Benjamin Curtis, howdy. Brandon Coin, show the combo with the Celeron. I didn't see the combo. There's a combo for the Celeron and the G3930. I will hear shortly. Frankie, two times. What's up? Welcome to the live chat. Nemesis, love the H110 Pro BTC. Uh, I have six of those motherboards, and they are great. Nemesis 419, that's great. Um, have you got 13 GPUs running in Windows? DTEX talking to not your normal miner. At Bitcoin Jake, I'm here. Brandon Coin or Bitcoin top 10 last 24 hours. Trying to do one quick video a day. Help Crypto Amigo out. At Bitcoin Jake, let's you know at Bitcoin Jake. Let's go over and check it out. Um, I'll check it out. Is that it? Bitcoin J09? Oh, it's, it's like this. Boom. There it is. Uh. What's the guy? Bitcoin Jake. I'm here. Been so good. I went top 10 last 24 hours with number 10. What was here. the audio clip? We got 74 in million weird. Bitcoin short. Could only be insider trading. Uh, looks like we got a, a link there to Crypto Coin Spy. Uh, on to number nine. Got Coinbase is exploring a Bitcoin ETF, and it has sought help from six trillion dollar Wall Street giant BlackRock. Got a Business Insider link there. On to number eight. Got Venezuelans make handbags out of worthless banknotes. Hyperinflation has left Venezuela devastated. I actually want a handbag made out of like dollar bills. That'd be cool. Number seven. It, it sucks about their um, even if hyperinflation. Even it means losing though. everything, believe in something, even if it means losing everything. Just do it. On to number six. Opened up an old Bitcoin account from 2015. Seems I left what was worth about forty dollars back then. Doesn't it feel so down now? <laughs> wow, that's that's a good come up right there. At Bitcoin Jig, it looks like the audio is coming through really good right now. Um, by the way, Robert Burns, if you want to, there's a for sale section over in the Discord, and a lot of people are buying and scooping stuff up. So if you go in there and post it up, I'm sure someone will be able to help you. Uh, offload some of those. Um, uh, Bitcoin Jake, by the way, uh, I will post your link right here. So if people want to follow up on this and check out the rest of it, and it looks like he's doing daily um, Reddit top 10 like uh, news style releases videos. He's only got 37 subscribers, so we definitely need to go check him out and add to that. D Tech, when you look at BTC Plus and scroll down. Too frequently bought together. Well, there it is. Celeron and power button 147. Thank you, DTEC. Jeremy. Yo, Jeremy. Welcome. Welcome, Jeremy. J Jeremy. Impossible odds compilation. Alright, I need to get off YouTube. If I start watching YouTube while we're live streaming on YouTube, it's just going to open up like a paradox and a black hole is going to form. Um, now let's get back to the the 2080. Thank you at Bitcoin Jake. I'm gonna be checking that out here in the future. It's Vexy. Vexy, you have the wrong name. Vivcrypt Mining. What's up, man? Um, all right. So the 2080. This is the one that I pre-ordered, and um, some people are asking me if they should pre-order them. Uh, and I, I have a hard time recommending or not recommending anything. But, you know, this isn't financial advice. This isn't life advice. This is all for entertainment. Blah, blah, blah. Um, don't hold it against me. Whatever. Um, but if you're, uh, you're going to roll the dice on a card, um, especially the 20 series, the 2080 looks better than the 2080 Ti because they're almost like half the price the 2080 ti is like 13 almost 1400 dollars whereas you can get this one for 789 but 
I really feel like the magic, the secret sauce card, like the card that everybody's going to be swooping to, like the last, uh, the, in the 10 series, uh, you know, everybody started jumping to the 1080s and the 1080 Ti's, but really the profitable cards were the 1070s and the 1070 Ti's. People slept on them, and then all of a sudden everybody wanted them. Um, and I think that's probably going to be the case on this, uh, but potentially the GTX 2060, the fact that it's not going to be a ray tracing graphics card whenever it does release, um, that might be for mining, you know, the the golden egg. Uh, if the miners can't find a way to utilize these ray tracing or tensor cores or whatever they call these things. Um, essentially, this is just a slightly beefed up uh, 1080 because it's got a little bit more CUDA cores. Um, but all the additional stuff that NVIDIA has tried to pack in there, I don't think it's actually going to do much for, for mining, unfortunately. But if the uh, the miner or the, the software guys out there, the developers, can utilize that stuff, then that's awesome. And they may, you know, heck, this 2080 and 2080 Ti may blow stuff out of the water. NVIDIA might drop a bombshell and drop like a 2090 or something. I, don't, I mean, why did they stop at 8, like 2080? Why can't there be a 2090? You know what I mean? Uh, at Bitcoin, Jake says, pre-order it for gaming, not mining. Um, yeah, I mean, this this will probably be a baller card at gaming. Uh, the problem is, is I don't really stress it out with the games I play. I, I still have an R9 290X literally in the machine that I'm streaming on right now. Um, and I don't even stress that card out enough. Now, if I got a 4K display and I was pushing it, that thing would not be able to keep up. But this one will. So maybe I need to upgrade my display. Maybe I need to start gaming more. Not your normal miner. It's a beast. Looking forward to seeing what's up with it when you get it. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing it also. Um, I know I was talking to the technicals, and he uh, pre-ordered one of the NVIDIA 2080 Ti's. And let's, uh, let's just go to NVIDIA's website, actually. I spelled that wrong. Nvidia. I think there's a there's some more there's some more letters in there. Nvidia. Oh, why why did I put an I there? <laughs> maybe it's a uh, maybe there's been too much uh, too much GPU talk here. Um, let's see here. Can you still pre-order the RTX on your on the website? Out of stock. Um, what? What is that? Why am I in like a, another country? Do y'all see that? Is that weird? Was that weird? Nvidia.com Pre-order There it goes. That was weird. Okay. Indian rupees. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but yeah, you can get the Founders Edition 2080 for $7.99, or you can get the Gigabyte Windforce Super Hyper Edition Special for $7.89. Um, I chose to save the $10 and get you know a really cool looking cooler card with some RGB on it. Uh, but there is some speculation that people said or people say. What is that about? What? What is what? Do y'all see that? Sixty-eight thousand dollars. What's going on here? I don't even want to remove it. I'm gonna screenshot that actually. Do y'all see this? That's the rupees price. You broke the website. Apparently. That's weird. Okay. Remove that. Order two. Are you on VPN? Reset your browser. I'm not on a VPN right now. Um my computer might be uh might be tripping out on the moment, but uh let's let's take a look at it. Oh boom, look, special effects and graphics. I don't wanna look at that. 
Can we not? Do we have to load that? There we go. Okay, so some people were talking about the cooler design, the stock cooler, because, you know, the stock coolers or the reference coolers were never ones you wanted. But they're saying the cooler design that comes on the new RTX with it being like a dual fan, semi-closed off design is going to be better than like uh, Gigabytes and a lot of the other companies more traditional uh, open with the, you know, slap a bunch of fans on the side with heat pipes. Um, I really don't know what's going to be better, honestly. I, they'll probably be fine, as long as it's not a blower card. These do look good, though, with the metal, like, going all the way around. That's cool. Gets throw it at somebody. Twenty eighty. The Founders Edition has more ops. What what are the RTX ops? It's got sixty instead of fifty seven. Mm. And it's got an overclock. Founders Edition. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it seems like a, a messy launch, honestly. It's just not, uh, I guess maybe for me, not clearly explained on everything. On all fronts, if that makes sense. I like this. I, I like that. What, it's like which one which side do you like better I don't know <laughs> they both look good to me um, I dig block Pete's Brandon is secretly building a farm uh, man if I was building well I have my little baby garden upstairs but if I was building a farm it would be no secret you guys would be included 175% because uh, I would be like documenting videoing and showing off like every single part of it lightning what do you mean quantify mining? Where's lightning? Is there lightning behind me? No, it's a dog. She's passed out. Um, anyway. Mr. C, Hannah Coin is at the top of the most profitable to mine. Let's go check it out. What to mine? Uh, let's go with the 1070. Calculate. Uh, yeah, Hannah Coin is right up there. Some Sarah Coin, whatever that is. Sephira, Sephira Coin. I don't, know. I don't pay attention to that. Bitcoin Gold's actually way up there right now. Hannah Coin is doing a little bit better than Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Okay, that's cool. Um, do we need to check out doing some Hannah Coin mining? Put in 1080 also. Is it a good time to build a farm? Wall rundum. Wall rundum. It's not a good time to build a farm if you want to sell off your coin at any time, like in the next couple weeks or soon, short term. Hannah coin, 74 cents. Frankie Two Time said, Mr. C, any work done on Ether 1? Looked at Hannah Coin on Subpool, only one person on it then. Jay Bohannon. Let's look at the Subpool. What's going on on the subscriber pool? Where is Hannah Coin? Oh, it's right there. There's seven people doing 824 mega hash. Woo! That's some mega hashes right there. Let's go to the Explorer. What's the difficulty on Hannah Coin? G Hannah Coin. It's 1.13 thousand, and it's 39 giga hashes on the network. So almost having one giga hash it should be hitting some blocks. Let's see. Lyra, Lyra, Lyra. Where is it at? Oh, Lyra two rev two. And uh, last hours hit none, but last four, 24 hours hit 14. Okay, that's interesting. Scribe, hitting a bunch of blocks on Scribe. Don't even know what Scribe is, but it's working. Let's see here. Not Your Normal Miner is doing a pool test, subscriber pool versus Hannah Pool as we speak on Hannah Coin. So Not Your Normal Miner, if you're not subscribed to Not Your Normal Miner, he's got a lot of good stuff. Let him, let him get some love. Go over and jump over to him. His... Username is 
not your normal miner. Um, low electric. What are you talking about? Test. Whew. Brad Price. They opted to focus on RTX and RT ops because silicon has reached a brick wall. It's hard to make gains. We got used to. Brad Price is what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid I'm gonna get this 2080 in, and it's gonna do like 40 mega hash or something, and then I'm gonna cry. Mr. C. Let's have a Hannah party. Hannah Montana in the house? I mean, I don't, I don't really... Uh, I have to hit a certain amount of Ether 1 so that way I can do my thing from a video and then I can move over to Hannah Coin. Know what I'm saying? Feel me? After I move over, then we can, then we can have all... We can, I mean, y'all can have a uh, Hannah party. All the Hannah parties. Mr. C said, just turned a rig on, so there's going to be some more power on some Hana coin. That, that's interesting. Hana coin. Let's check it out. It will be better, but not like it was. It's over. There will be no 3080 on silicon. Brad Price. What will it be on? Carbon fiber. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Roderick Crawford, it would be a nice addition to subscriber pool if we could solo mine coins. Roderick Crawford, what coin do you want to solo mine? <sighs> oh man, I need I need another Mountain Dew. I'm I'm beat. Ah, uh, well. Okay. Roger Crawford, he just got swatted. What? <laughs> Mr. C, you don't solo mine on a pool. Well, that's why I was asking him, like, what's what's he looking to do? Uh, hey, Brandon, what can you say about Athlon 200GE? Uh oh, thirteen. This is this is fresh. Uh, AMD announces fifty-five dollar Athlon two hundred GE with Vega graphics, second gen Ryzen Pro CPUs. Oh, AMD is keeping twenty-year-old legacy of the Athlon brand alive with its new Athlon two hundred GE processor processor that comes armed with Radeon Vega three graphics. AMD is bringing new dual-core four-thread Athlon two hundred G processor to the market on September eighth. For a mere fifty-five dollars, but it will be joined by the beefier twenty-two or two twenty GE and two forty GE in quarter four, two thousand eighteen. AMD is also introducing an Athlon Pro two hundred GE model and the new second-gen Ryzen Pro series for the professional commercial market. The Ryzen Seven Pro twenty seven hundred X, Pro twenty seven hundred, and Ryzen Five Pro twenty six hundred models will come to market this year but will debut in OEM systems from Dell, HP, Lenovo. Launch times will vary by company. Ooh, this is interesting. So, let's see. Oh, I just hit my knee. I hit my knee. Ow. Okay, that hurt. What was that? Uh, TH donated $5.49 of Canadian maple syrup money. He says, getting maple syrup order ready for you. Oh, I heard that, man. Heard that. Thank you for that, though. Thank you for the five dollars and forty-nine Canadian dollar bills. Nice T-shirt. I like the blue color. Thank you, man. Is it? Is it? Uh, it's, it's looks like it's super blue when I'm looking at it in the feedback. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you don't own pool like I did, simple. Okay, you're talking about the. Brad Price, fifty-five dollar Vega chip makes me feel good about the thousand-dollar Vega cards. I know they don't compare. Yeah, I know it's d different. You know, different. Uh, Alex TH has joined the party. LOL. Alex HD, welcome. Well, I'm nice. To, nice to see you here. I posted my cards for sale on Discord. Robert Burns, I will go check them out. 
Actually, we might check them. Vi Vivcrypt Mining donated five dollars through Super Chat. Thank you, man. And he says for the hot pockets, and he's got the shades on. Dude, oh my gosh, I'm actually down to my last hot pocket, and I so want to go cook it like right now, but I don't want to leave the stream. But definitely after the stream, I'm gonna go get a solid cold Mountain Dew and a fresh hot pocket because I need one right now. Robert Burns, I did pick two. Let me, um, Robert, do you mind if I show them off on uh, on stream? Show them off for sale. We'll, we'll actually we'll show those um, right after we we take a look more into uh, what you got going on right here. Go for it. We definitely will. Okay, so the 200 GE is going to be underneath the Pentium Gold. The 5600. Uh, it's two core, four thread. I think uh, nowadays two core, four thread is almost like a bare minimum. If you have a two core, two thread, that thing is just going to choke on Windows 10. Dual channel memory controller. Um, well, um, oh, the multiplier is not unlocked. That is very interesting for an, for an AMD CPU. I guess the Athlons, I don't know if they were ever unlocked, but uh, it does have integrated graphics, three compute units on Vega, so probably very weak, but it's, it's a good entry-level budget alternative. So this is probably directly competing with the, um, the uh, four thread Pentiums. Interesting. Hmm. Wonder how they'll do it gaming. Lenovo ThinkPad, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to see that. Does that have any other information on the newer ones? I want to see the. Uh... Are they all two core, four thread? There we go. Athlon processor with Radeon graphics. Trusted, versatile, reliable, advanced Athlon. Bam, look at that Athlon. Everyday computing. All right, so down here, this is your grandparents. Right here, this is your people who can't afford up here, AKA me. Uh, and then up here, this is your ballers. Actually, ballers, almost ballers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, everyday computing, interesting. Uh, I'm glad they do have an up-to-date alternative for everybody. Will I be buying one of these? Probably not. What's it? How's it do? AMD Athlon. Compare. They're comparing it to an A6, 9500, and a G4560. So it's doing very similar to a G4560. A little bit better, or almost identical, and pretty much everything. Uh, and it's mopping the floor with a A6. But man, those A6s, those things were like slugs. So it better be doing better than that. Know what I'm saying? Alright, well, awesome. Thank you for the update on the news. Mr. C, we just hit 1.1 giga hash on Hannah. Let's check it out. Subscriber pool. I guess if anybody's looking for some coins to jump on and hit some blocks right now, I guess they're doing it over at Hannah. They're hitting it. Look at that. 1.1 giga hash. Let's get some more people on there. Uh, Foxy Cloud 200 GE should get at least 100 hashes on Kryptonite, by my guess. I would think so. Six cards making three nickels a day. I'm gonna be rich, boys. Yes, sir. Rich people in the house. There's no such thing as a fresh hot pocket. Dude, a fresh hot pocket, fresh out the microwave. Anyway, um, let's check out what Robert Burns is at, has ha, has for sale. If I can talk, what he ha 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 has for sale. What does it? Uh, for sale section. Robert Burns, I assume that your Discord name is Foo Fitter. All right, so let's bring this over here. Bam, there it is. All right, so this is the for sale section in the Brandy Coin Spartan Mining Discord. He's got XFX RX 480, 8 gigs, BIOS mod done. I'll be able to get 30 mega hashes on the card with overclocks on Simple Miner. It has been repasted for better temps, 125 shipped. 
Also accept equivalent BTC ETH ships to USA only. Hmm, oh, interesting. Dude. Blower card. $125 for 30 mega hash is solid. Um, XFX RX 588 gig black edition. Fans glow red when running. Fans are replaceable. Use clips. Getting around 29.5 on ETH with BIOS mod. I have two of the cards. 190 each shipped. I also have accept equivalent. Uh, which ones are these? Oh, it's the ones, yeah, the, the white fan blade ones. Those do light up red. Those are some cool cards. So you have, uh, what, two of these? One and two. You're just selling off some extras or you're done? Are you getting out of the game? Well, thank you for posting those up. And guys, as always, we, ton we always have a ton of stuff for sale on there. Some fans, power supply, some splitters, uh, some more cards, 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 power supply, cards. Uh, MSI 1080 Ti Duke, 460 bucks. That is a solid deal on that. Uh, a little bit, a little bit of everything, you know. Some good deals, some bad deals. Most of them are fairly, fairly competitive. So, thank you for sharing with that. Hannah coin 1.3 giga hash. Let's hit a block on air. That'd be cool. Hannah coin, Hannah coin. Um, boom. Need to hit a block, guys. Jump on that Hannah coin. Hannah banana. All right, let's see here. Let's uh. Why did Discord die, Brandon? CTF, uh, we there's a new Discord, so if you click the link down below, um, and it, it it I wouldn't say that it died. It actually popped off, and it's it's uh, very 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 active. There's always somebody in there saying something. Bitcoin Jake, later, man. Have a good one. Uh, a fresh hot pocket is called a calzone. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, I was in the old Discord. Yes, you need to ch uh, check out the new one. T Tech, thank you for the links to the Discord. Robert selling off extras, got medical bills. Oh man, sorry to hear about it. Mr. C, we're trying to hit a block, man. Um, how, how much speed's on there now? Let's see here. Oh, it's only 1.1 gig hash. Come on, guys. Thanks for showing. Killing it at subscriber pool. Mining Hannah coin is an understatement. Not your normal miner. Quoted. Quoted. But guys, I think we're nearing the end of this one. Uh, I'm, there wasn't a whole lot that happened today. Uh, not a lot of content. Not a lot of... Definitely light in the crypto world. Um, so I think we'll probably end this video early. If uh, nobody has anything that they want to bring up or check out. Compliments. Concerns. Anything. Hopefully those uh those twenty eighties will be be here soon. Anyone buying the i9 9900K? Um, potentially some of the people in the uh, Discord. There's a couple heavy overclockers over there that they may be buying it. Hannah Coin's got one gig hash on it right now. Robert Burns is looking for a three hundred dollar Ethereum. Man, I'm still looking for a thousand dollar Ethereum. Ethereum's on sale right now. That's for sure. YouTube watcher, hey peeps, what is up, man? Ebeg Cry Society, love you, uh, love you too, man. Yeah, bro, bro, love there, you know. Baby steps, Robert Burns. I just want to wake up tomorrow and have a thousand dollar Ethereum. I'll be happy. You know, you know, y'all. Yeah. Been playing Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is an awesome game. I lost a lot of time of my life to that game. I guess we forgot to light the candle tonight because technically it was a green night. $1,000 Ethereum tomorrow. I am dumping it all. Dude, you and me both. $1,000 Ethereum tomorrow. I will not go to work. I will stay home. Been working on my rig frame from Amazon. Have three cards running on it. Jay Bohannon, awesome Jay Bohannon. Are those the uh, the cards that you got for the the deals and steals you were talking about? 
Scum is a good new game, Robert Burns. Should we check it out on live stream? Scum. Oh, man, I'm yawning. Oh, I hope, I hope I don't make anybody else yawn. I know you're beside somebody in real life and they yawn, it makes you yawn. When you were live streaming, if I yawn, does it make you yawn? That's the question. Social experiment in the house. I want a $300 Litecoin. Holy smokes. A $300 Litecoin? I don't have much Litecoin. But I would still be happy about it. I would be happy for the collective amount of people that do have a lot of Litecoin. YouTube Watcher. Look, someone moved a billion dollars of Bitcoin, split it between eight exchanges, and cashed out 100 million. They are setting the framework for the futures. Interesting. It's a survival game like DayZ, but more realistic. It's $20. I yawned. I hate you. Mr. C, are you still at work right now? I, if you're still at work and you're yawning, I'm, I apologize. I really do. Because that's got to be rough. Scum. Oh, look it up. Scum game. 849 mega hash. Come on, guys. You need to do better than that. Jump on Hannah Coin. It's Lyra 2 Rev. I yawned as well. D Tech, yes, yawn with me. Oh god, oh god. Oh smokes, I'm yawning again. Holy smokes. Oh. I need an energy drink or something. I didn't even work that hard today. Yes, always working. Mr. C, man, you need to take a, a break from that sometimes. Michael Oates, winter is coming. Winter cannot get here fast enough. I can't wait for winter to get here so I can literally. I'm going to shut my uh, heat off to my house and I'm going to try to heat my whole house with mining rigs. I'm going to spread mining rigs out everywhere. I'm going to take the ducting and like duct it down stairs and like have it blowing and people are going to be like, what's that? And it's just like, I'm like, go feel it. It's going to be that hot air. Like, and it's going to be great. I, I feel it. The more you talk about yawning, the more you will yawn. Yes, Mr. C, I need to quit talking about it. No more yawning. I want to yawn. I feel it coming on. I didn't. I didn't yawn. Holy smoke! Oh. All right, man. It makes my eyes water every time I do that. Not yawn though. Uh, what were you checking out? Scum game. One day ago. Wow, this is like this is like a brand new game. Scum. Seven survival tips for for beginners. I just want to watch the like. Uh... Is there not just like? Uh... Oh, here's it. Or game. That's what I. That's what I was looking for. Dang it. Game... Hi, my name. Gameplay trailer. Hi, John J. Dick here. First line of defense protecting the Earth from the cow invasion, one delicious steak at a time. First, we'd like to apologize for being silent for a little while. E3 is upon us, and the scum team have been working hard. All right, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's the cleaning lady. She blew the main key. We're going to go through the character creation process first. By now, we've established that all characters in scum will be unique, and that their skills and attributes will appear to be an app. The first thing... Come on, get out of the character creation part. Stamina directly, despite that stamina is actually defined with the character's constitution level and not strength itself. The second example shows how well the character can control the recoil of the rifle, depending on his strength. The higher the his so, body has been so it's supposed to be like a super in-depth like the guy survival in the white game has a constitution of five and the guy in the distance has a constitution of one other attributes are the same the convict with the lower constitution has less stamina to start with running down the slope will reduce the stamina consumption speed slightly but it'll nevertheless get tired very quickly the body that's out of shape usually is not capable of dealing and uh, considers heavy physical activity a stress because of that 
I mean, that, that looks pretty cool. Like, uh, looks a little in-depth. Right now, the amount of... Some good old harvesting. Um, I don't know. I might check it out. It's like 20 bucks, y'all said? That, it's not bad. Yeah, the game is crazy detailed. It looks crazy detailed. Uh, what do you think about Vosk's new update video, Michael Oates? I have not seen Vosk's new update video, but uh, I'll need to check it out. Brandon Coin, you are going to have to move the farm to the basement for the winter. Unfortunately, DTEC, I don't have a farm, but instead of running those ducting pipes, outside i'm going to take those ducting pipes and turn them and run them down the uh down the stairs and have them kind of blowing like like heat into my main living room and then maybe maybe i'll build the extra mining rig to keep in the bedroom to keep the bedroom warm yes you have to worry about your attributes vitamins etc pick your foods based on what nutrients you need it's fun though um man that sounds like real life I don't even eat vitamins in real life. I need them. I, my my core vitamins is like Mountain Dew and and uh, and Hot Pockets. But all right, guys. Um, instead of dragging this out and making it even harder on you and me, um, it looks like Hannah Coin's got a Giga Hash on it. It just gained another miner, but it still has not hit a coin or not hit a block, not yet. Just cut vents in the ceiling, man. Blow that heat in there. That would be cool. That would work. <sighs> go, bro, go, go. Catch you later. Yeah. I need to go get some food. I'll catch y'all all later. We're going to go to the Discord. I'll be over there if you want to come hang out for a little bit. Adios. And I'll see you tomorrow, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully something will happen. Not cool, warm. Yes, it'll be cool. it'll be warm, but you know what I mean. Like it'll be cool. Like, not not lame. I don't know. Later. All right, guys. Have a good one. Why are y'all still here? There's 49 people here. Leave. You gotta go. You ain't gotta go home. You just you can't stay here. Go to the go to the Discord. I'll see you over at the Discord. And by the way, VivCrypt Mining, thank you for the five dollar donation through Super Chat, and also TH, thank you for the five dollars forty nine cents of Canadian maple syrup money. Adios, guys. For real this time, I am gone. Um, yeah, yeah, bye, bye.